fascinated when we have issues with technology. Who's the first person that we turn to? We turn to the kids. We turn to the teenagers. I have a three-year-old, and even my three-year-old now, she's like, can I watch videos of Naomi? She talks about herself in the third person, which is its own separate issue, but <laughs> she's probably going to take over the world. I don't know. So you give her an iPhone, and you unlock it for her, and now she can like find the little camera app. She can start to scroll through the pictures, and she recognizes the little play symbol, knowing that it's a video, and then she'll l watch videos of herself that we've been taking. It three. Kids are amazing, right? They're digitally fluent, they're tech savvy. For a leader, that means that's exactly who you need to be. It doesn't mean that these kids, the teenagers out there, they can't tell you how to make some of these things. They can't even build some of these things for you. They can't recreate some of them for you, but they are tech savvy, they are digitally fluent, they will figure it out. Every company now is a technology company. You can imagine what your organization is going to look like in three years, in five years, in ten years. You think you have a lot of technology now. Just wait. Technology is everywhere. As a leader, you need to understand what these technologies are, what their potential impl implications might be, how you might be able to leverage them, and what that potential impact might be. It doesn't mean you need to be an expert on blockchain. It doesn't mean you need to know how to code. But you need to understand what the potential of something like blockchain might be. How might you use augmented or virtual reality? What is it? Could it help with patient care? Maybe. You just need to understand it from that high level. Michael Tipsord is the CEO of State Farm, around 90,000 people. And when we were talking, he specifically said that this is crucial because leaders need to be able to separate what's credible from hype. And as a leader, you're not going to be able to unlock any type of transformative possibilities unless you understand technology. <laughs>